Hello everyone. Uh, it's really late at night and uh, I can't help myself. I had to just go ahead and watch the rest of Breaking Bad Season 3. Um, so, Season 3, um, if you haven't seen my previous season reviews, I'd check them out. Season 3, um, Season 3 is where shit just picks up. Uh, basically, a lot of Season 3 is Jesse and Walt kind of drifting apart and uh, becoming kind of like rivals, enemies. Um, lots of stuff happens. Uh, I don't want to spend most of the spoiling or describing the plot. I just want to describe how I feel about it. Personally, I think you should definitely... Breaking Bad, in my opinion, is one of my favorite shows. There's very few shows um, that I re-watch. And even though I only watched it for the first time last year, I find that like the cinematography, the story, the acting is just all so phenomenal. And season three is where it really just starts to like... Season three might be my favorite season. It might be the best... Um, it, everything is just so well done. I, like, it's, it's incredible. So, this is, like, where Walt and, uh, Jesse get, like, they, they get the big jobs. They get the big time, like, rolling. Um, they meet, uh, basically the biggest kingpin in the entire region who basically can just, like, do anything he wants. He's completely all-powerful. He's like a mastermind, right? And uh, he, he's like, I, personally, I love Gus Fring. He's a great character. Um, the way he speaks, his thought processes, his team, everything about him is just a really, like, mystical kind of character until, like, the very end of season three where you kind of start interacting with him more and, like, you get to see just how motherfucking maniacal he is. And, um... So, everything... Leading up until the final, like, three episodes is pretty... It, it's standard, but high-quality standard. Really, the biggest thing that I appreciate is the Hank scene, where Hank fights the cousins. Um, I really love how Hank managed to survive that scenario. And uh, it's really cool, really well done. I appreciate the strategy involved with uh, the, you know, the plays and the, how the story progressed there. Um... But really, like, the best part of season three are the last three episodes where Jesse basically just try Like, he just goes rogue. He has a meltdown um, because he starts seeing some girl who has a kid and, like, you know, they're kind of involved in uh, the street-level operation of uh, his boss, Mr. Fring. And he finds out that um, he ordered the execution of uh, one of his friends who died in the previous season and that they're using children to uh, enact these executions. So Jesse, you know, being like a, an upstanding but misled um, youth with a good conscience decides this isn't right, so he wants to do something about it. And just like every, every step of those like last two episodes is just fucking like, you can't stop watching. Like I really want to watch season four right now, but like it's fucking 5 a.m. and I should really go to bed. Um, but just, like, it's everything is just so well done. The music, the pacing, right? Like, just, like, everything is just, like, phenomenal. I don't even know what to say besides it's phenomenal. Season 3 is just really good. Um, fuck. <laughs> like, it's really fucking good. Um, season 3, you get to see a lot more of Saul, and you get to see a lot more of Mike. Mike is a great character, in my opinion. Um, definitely one of the few characters that I wish got more screen time, that I wish had more, um, fleshed out story, and, uh, without giving too many spoilers, even though I've already dedicated this entire series, Flicks Done Quick, to, to spoiling shit, uh, Mike has done a, a lot more justice in Better Call Saul, the prequel series, um, to, um, Breaking Bad, that I will be probably rewatching after I'm done Breaking Bad. Um, I might wait a little bit for the next season to come out. I don't know yet. Um, but, uh, yeah, so Mike is, is used a lot in season three, and he's a cool character. Um, really just, the, it's an all-star lineup. I want to say, though, I want to say this, like, for the record, fuck Skyler, okay? Skyler is such a goddamn fucking whore. A cunt fucking whore in this fucking season. She's like, oh god, I fucking hate her. She's just so fucking rude. She's obnoxious. Oh, I fucking hate Skyler. Um, 
And, uh, yeah, so Saul, Mike, those guys are epic. Um, Jesse comes around at the end and, like, for, like, the first half of season three, like, Jesse's kind of, like, just a rude bitch. Um, but for the second half, you really just start to empathize with him. And he's just a really fucking, he's just a good character. He's just such a good character. Um, and you get to, like, season three is where you get to really understand that Walt is no longer, like, a happy-go-lucky father. He's, like, an evil fucking badass. And this is, like, where that shit, like, really starts to hit home. Especially at the end of the second-to-last episode where he just fucking, like, executes some fuckers in the middle of the night, like, in the street, just out in the open. He just fucking executes some fuckers. And it's just, like, God, it's so good. Um, just, I don't know, man. If, like, if, if you're listening to, like, and watching these Breaking Bad reviews and you haven't seen the series, like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, honestly, this shit's just so good. Um, fuck. I don't know what else to say. Um, it's just a good series. Season three is where, season three is where it's just, it, it's just so good. Um, so I'll describe four and five as I progress, but three is just so fucking good. That's all I can say right now. It's just, whew, it's good stuff.